Once you've installed and configured your Groove I.O. nodes for the first time, you're ready to start doing something more substantial with your data. If you don't already have these nodes installed and a localhost device configured, go ahead and watch our previous video that goes over the Groove I.O. nodes in depth. In this video, I'll be using the Groove I.O. nodes to bring in a temperature value and log it to a text file that I'll be storing directly on my RIA. Now, before I just dive into using this file node, I first want to understand the data that I'm going to be inputting with this node. To do that, I'll need to determine the data type, module index, and channel index. I can find that in Groove Manage under IO Channels. Here on Groove Rio, we only have that one built-in module that has the index of zero, and here I'll be reading in this analog input, AI, on channel three, this oven temperature. If I select that, we can confirm that it's module zero, channel three, up in the URL at the top here, and I want to be bringing in this temperature value right here. So back in node red, I'll switch the data type to an analog channel value. I'll give it the module index of zero and the channel index of three. And you'll also see that when I switched it to an analog channel value, I got a dead band option. This option is very important because an analog value doesn't switch from on to off like a digital value, it can fluctuate. So this dead band determines how much the value must fluctuate before a new message is injected into node red. So in this case, I will leave the dead band at one degree of change. But if I didn't want it to log that often, I could increase this number to 10 and I would only get one tenth as many messages. I could also set it to a smaller number like 0.5, but that would make my log file fill up very, very quickly as the temperature changes in small fluctuations. Using simply one degree of change is going to work in this case. I'll give this node a name like read temperature and click done. Now I want to see this data. So I'm going to press and hold left control and left click on my workspace here and I'll select the debug node to drop one in. Now when I wire these together and click deploy, we'll see a temperature value appear here in the debug pane right away. It's currently 80 degrees in this room. So now I know my data is coming in, I need to select my file node. You may be tempted to use the file in node, but that will actually read a file's contents into the node red flow. If you hover over the one above that, you can see that this will write the message.payload in the flow to a file. And this file can either be existing or it can create it on its own. So I'll drag in this file node and double click it to configure it. We can see here we have to set the file name, the action, and as well as the encoding. In this case, default encoding will work fine, but you have a lot of different options here. You'll also note that by default, it will append this new value to the end of the file. I could also overwrite the file so that it only holds one value, the latest value, and I can also delete the file from within Node Red. I'll leave it to append since I want a nice log of all these values, and so they'll be on a new line each time with a new line character put after each payload. Now I just need to determine the file name, which I can go back and find in Groove Manage. So I'll go home, select system, and click files. Here you can see you have the option of using internal storage directly on the Rio or USB drives, and I'll cover USB drives in a future video. In this case, I'll use the secured files directly on the Rio, and you can see the path right slash home slash dev slash secured. So I'll right click and copy this to my clipboard to make sure I get that exactly right. And you can see that no files or directories currently exist here. So I'll go back to node red, right click and paste in my file path, and now I need to determine the actual file name. Since this is running on a Linux operating system, I should be careful not to use any special characters or spaces in the file name. So I'll give it a really simple one like temperature underscore log dot txt. Now I will be appending this to the file and I'll give it a name that matches the file name that I'm creating. Now I'll click done. I'll wire this node in and clear up the debug pane. Now when I click deploy, we'll see we'll get a temperature log show up here. And if I go back to my files and refresh the page, there we go. We can see we have a new listing here with temperature underscore log dot txt. So now when I select this, we can see that it's only 16 bytes. But if I come back to node red and take the temperature probe that's connected to input three and hold it in my hand to heat it up with my body temperature, we'll see that there will be extra entries show up in the debug pane on the right. As these entries appear, we'll be adding each new line to the log file. Here we go. Let's wait for one more. And now if I go back to my files and refresh this page, we'll see that it's gone from 16 bytes up to 61 bytes. It's clearly increasing in size. So let's open up this file and have a look. There we go. We can see each of the values exactly as I expected them. 
Now, if I go back into the file options, we can see that I can download this file to my PC that I'm currently viewing Groove Manage in, or I can copy it to another area on the Rio, move it to another area on the Rio, or delete it entirely. If we do look at this file and refresh this page, we'll see that it's getting longer. And if I delete this file, we'll see that it disappears, but a new one will be created as soon as there's a new reading. And here we go, we've got our new file. And if I go back to that other tab and refresh, there we go, we've got just one listing in here. And if I refresh again, there we go, we've got another one. So there we go. This is just a really nice simple flow that can save data and log it on your Rio.